Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Hey, today we're going to try to dig some more holes. Uh, we're going to try to put them in right here to put our water catchment system. So we're going to put these IBC totes up on top of uh, some poles so that they're actually up a little bit so that when we uh, try to drain them, it has a little bit of pressure to it. So we're going to go ahead and get started now. And uh, I'm going to apologize right up front. It's kind of a windy day. So we'll see how it goes. So we got one of the holes drilled. We're about to put in another one right there at the stick. It is right about there. I can't see very well. Oh yeah, it's right there. And that stake, uh, we're going to put in another hole for another post. Well, here we go. We've got almost all four posts set here or to get ready for this uh, water container area. This is the beginning of our water stand for uh, water containment. So, we've got that much accomplished today and then we're almost ready to take that tractor back. We're just going to go ahead and set these straight and put the dirt in around them. And watch that Daniel setting them up a little. See how straight he can get them without the dirt around them right now, I guess. <laughs> oh, that one went the other way. makes a good point. They're not all the same size. These are free poles we got from the utility company and uh, we're just making really good use of them. So things didn't quite go as well as we had planned. Um, we kind of got out there and we were gonna, we thought we'd put it in in one spot and the post in one spot and uh, it was just a little too far to one side, so what we did was we just left the one set of the posts and we went the opposite way. And that actually seemed to work it out. <coughs> and then trying to set them posts, you know, putting in telephone poles. <laughs> it's actually quite a task in itself. Yeah. And, and then we also had to get the tractor back. To where we borrowed it from. Yeah, so most of the day was really so. spent trying to get the tractor back. Yeah. And uh, so I know this video doesn't contain like the whole build. This is just the beginning of these builds and uh, we're hoping to focus and continue on this build and get it finished. And uh, like a lot of our projects, uh, we've got we've just got a lot up in the air and as you may have noticed. <laughs> so. But, uh, well, we're going to yeah. concentrate on the um, solar build first. I got to kind of make a little rack, but I think we have that mostly complete. Because um, when I got my sawmill, they came on these nifty metal um, pallets, <laughs> and I'm going to just mount the solar arrays on top of that and then put it between the two poles so that uh, it can pivot so that in the summertime we have it at one angle and then in the winter 
we're talking, we have a different angle. Just to make it a little more efficient. Probably could put it at one angle and it'd be fine, but we just think that it'd be better if we had it at two angles. And then we're gonna wait for later to do our, our windmill, because we need a better pole for that. Just so we can get it up high enough. This will be our first windmill ever, ever, ever. <laughs> so so we're, we're kind of excited. <laughs> and we're expecting the batteries for this uh, solar panel and windmill here in a couple more days. Some um, week, yeah. You know? Yeah. So that'll be exciting too. Hopefully when they get here, we'll be ready to just install them and start using them. Don't want your breath though. All right. Uh, hopefully you. you like you like this video. Um, please hit the like button. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and uh, hit please. the notification button. Um, leave a comment and share this video. All right. Uh, thank thank you. you. Thank you all so much. <laughs>